Uh oh. We got a problem. The zombies got Tourette's. He hasn't stopped jerking around. This could be helpful, though. It could be helpful. Welcome, everybody. This is Jimbo Slice23. After a month break from the server, we're back recording. I got a good bit done on the base. We have two towers now. And the middle portion. Actually, we didn't have that done either. Um, a little bit of detail put in here. Uh, starting, starting to put all the pillars in. We we want to change this up just a little bit. I might even put some kind of design in the middle, through or between these uh, two pillars. Same thing on all the towers. We also have this ready to go for the iron farm and if you notice this water stream this shouldn't this shouldn't take too long give it a second give it a second okay that's going to take longer than a second well, there's squid that spawn in there actually a good bit it's making me look like a liar right now i have uh ink all over the place because I go in there and I just collect ink sacks every once in a while because there's just there's ink laying on that platform. They fall through that little gap of water and they suffocate there. Didn't know they could do that. But yeah, there's that little gap. They suffocate and they die. Um, I'm probably going to throw a squid farm in there with the iron farm. Why not? Why wouldn't I, right? So uh, that's what we're going to be working on today but before we do that we want to do some detailing in the tower right we want to blend this in we want to get it looking good instead of like this it doesn't look bad like this but it it's not the idea that uh i had in mind so we want to detail this with like some blocks this these are the blocks i'm going to use just the polished the whole the whole block type a thing and it's going to look like i don't know it's going to look like there's uh you know bricks not type not quite bricks but blocks that are you know fading in and out of the of the other textures i don't know if that makes sense what we'll have to do the time lapse just to show you what it's going to look like um also might need to light this up before I do that. We're going to do a time lapse here. And uh, I got something to get off my chest while we do that. And it's uh, long overdue. I'd like to take this time to put a message out there. To reach out to individuals who may be going through hardships at this time. That probably includes everyone. I see too much hate in this world. And I feel that it's rubbing off on all of us. Just want you to take a moment to reflect on the things that make you happy. Look at what you have that others don't and stop taking things for granted. Whether it's your family, your home, the food that you eat, your health, you have something that makes you you and that you is special. Some of us get too caught up in what they want instead of what they have. Even those who don't have much has the power to put a smile on the face of someone that does. I'm not perfect and neither are you. But together we are. We're all human beings with feelings and we should be able to count on one another instead of fighting hate. We all have differences, but that's no reason to hate. There's nothing better than doing that good deed or a friendly conversation to make the day go by a lot smoother. I no longer desire money and fortune. I, I would like change. I'm just hoping to make a difference with this message. Also, in this turbulent period of social and environmental changes, Seeking to find the creator that is within each of you, no book or doctrine represents more your soul than what you feel inside your conscience. A good soul can be Jewish, Buddhist, Christian, uh, Muslim, Hindu, just as much as a bad soul. Religion, nominally speaking, says absolutely nothing about who is bad and who is not. 
Do not look at others with indifference dictated by any doctrine. Think that his child could be yours and he could be your brother. Do not think of differences in dialect or languages. Think that a raised peace sign is the same sign understood by all those who want peace and that a child cries the same way in any language. Do not let anyone tell you who you are. Know yourself and you will be your own conscious. So a few things, um, I did die just recently, lost everything, I was AFK for some materials, and uh, now I lost my netherite stuff. Good thing I'm rich. Oh my god, what was the second thing I had to say? I can't remember what the second thing was. How did I forget that already? I had like three things to say, I can't even remember second. Oh, yeah, the uh, the dirt. The dirt is way better than scaffolding. Uh, it's just a pain to knock it down and gather it up every everywhere you go. I might as well make a little circle around this and uh, do the whole side, then collect it again, go up, make another circle. That's way easier than this scaffolding thing. So screw the scaffolding. You notice I, I ditched it in the time lapse so yeah and the carpets don't know about the carpets i want this spawn proof let's take a look back here real quick you notice only did to there but i started doing all this uh yeah the carpets you can't really tell too much if you're not really looking at it but it's still i don't know it's still kind of gets on my nerves that's pretty much yeah it just kind of gets on my nerves i don't i don't know if i like it i don't know what you guys think maybe leave a comment about it but that may have to go last thing um i'm not gonna build that ship i'm not gonna build that ship i got way too much to do in the base there, i'm not gonna be able to complete something like that there's no way so I'm I'm going to scrap the ship and uh I'll probably use it somewhere else maybe another season if anything maybe next season Um yeah and I did want you guys to take a look at a little bit how I'm doing this I know the time lapse shows a little bit but I would like to see what uh I would like for you guys to see what goes on what world how this is done in person so yeah it's not it's pretty tedious i like to keep some kind of veins with the polished andesite blocks as you could see like i showed you in the shulker boxes we're going for like a blocky look um i do want to kind of keep these together and then you know spread some of them out but we want to make it look like there's you know old uh spots you know like it's corroded but there's still signs of construction from these blocks yeah yeah that's about right all right the tower is detailed and really starting not to like these carpets yeah uh i do want to possibly bring a little white down just a little bit further to help with the carpets but honestly the carpet thing is uh it's looking like a disaster to be honest i tried to put some string up here and of course string doesn't work because there's farms that use string when spawns are on the string so that was stupid and it doesn't work so uh, I'm going to have to try to figure something else out. I might even put some half slabs there. You know, andesite, diorite, half slabs down here. You know, maybe cobble and andesite. Um, yeah, same down here. You know, just find some blocks that'll fit with the pattern and use half slabs. Because I really don't like that. Up here is fine, I think, with carpets. As soon as we get to the white. Because there's no white half slabs. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, let's look, take a look from the side. It looks really good, though. Huh? What do you think? 
I think it looks really good. You use a bunch of different variants in the blocks to blend it all in. And uh, the bad thing is, though, this goes all around my base. Hence the reason why I'm not building that ship. I got way too much to do down here. Um, but now that that's finished, we want to get things set up for the iron farm. The plan is, before I get into it, let's go over the plans. Uh, we're going to have like four different spawns for the golems. Here, 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 here. And they'll spawn golems in and they'll drop down. All of them will drop down into the center, which there will be a smaller stream that flows this way with hoppers underneath, and there's going to be uh, pillagers all around them. I might even make a couple platforms with pillagers just to make sure we have enough pillagers so we can, uh, you know, we can uh, take care of the golem. And it doesn't take forever. Maybe, you know, there'll be stacks of golems there. We don't want that to happen. We want to make sure there's enough pillagers to kill this guy. So, yeah. Let's get these things ready. We're not going to get the villagers just yet. I'm going to reach out to Croc17. He's got a bunch of villagers not too far away. Over that way, I believe. And he can easily transport those for me. That should be a lot of fun. But right now, let's get that set up. Oh, yeah. I broke my keyboard. I have this crappy keyboard. It's uh, a lot of buttons are sticky, and uh, that's that just a pain. Just figure out throw that out there. So we have the platform in place, the killing chamber. This is all you know, just hoppers leading into that middle one. Um, they should uh, they should be able to land on this thing right here these golems if not we're gonna have to you know make us a little bit bigger i'm sure i could uh get some help from other players i do have to put a couple lanterns up yeah and this happens to be the dirty golem water and this is the clean golem water so whatever that means uh we want to put the villagers underneath of these and i'm kind of hoping these guys don't notice the villagers up here Got my fingers crossed because we really can't have them distracted over here. We want them to immediately go after the golem when the golem drops down. So, uh, we have to put our beds in place. We have to get the zombie. We got to put a zombie in there. Hopefully, the zombie can be in here and the golem can actually go towards it and make its way to the center because of that zombie but unable to reach it. That's the plan. The villagers got to see the zombie. Golem's got to see the zombie, but not reach it. That's the plan. Okay, uh, let's get let's get to that. Looks like we're getting a lot more spawns down there. This is good. This is good. They're spawning everywhere. Nice. That should definitely be able to handle a golem. Uh, we have all the beds in place. They're going to spawn in here. Um, I do need a piece of glass right here or something. Um, they're going to sit in here. Uh, zombie in the middle. we got to put something on their head too and something over here. So they can't move. They want to be on this block. Hopefully that block is is okay. I know some people use glass. I figure that should be right. And uh, yeah, that should be it for that. For the iron farm. We just need some villagers. That's where Croc comes in. We're going to uh, get with him to do that. But I did do something in the meantime down here. I wanted to put a squid farm. So I put a freaking squid farm down here. Look at this. Hold on. You saw some though. You saw some. There they come. Plus it looks so cool. I like the beacon look. With the hoppers. Doesn't that look cool? That's different. I put a little storage area down there, but it's uh it's just temporary. Um we're gonna take it through the floor just like the other one and sort everything out in here. Just like the other one. We have uh ink sacks. 
iron, and also I'm getting drowned drowns in here. Which means uh for one they're not dying. They fall from there to there. So they're not taking much damage. So I might have to raise this up, which is fine. I don't think many squids spawn towards the bottom. I think it's more up here with the you know in the river area. I don't think if you go so far down they're gonna spawn. So I'm probably gonna move that up if we get too many down here. Well, I'll probably do it anyways. But uh right now this is where, hold on, let me show you. Let me show you a second. Bam, that was barely any. I had a stack, Duds is at his base and he lives pretty much in a pineapple under the sea. And he went to the nether and they just came raining out of this thing. There's only eight water streams and they just came raining, which is awesome. I love it. It's working out really good. Don't know how much black ink I'm going to need. I mean, I better start using more black. I got plenty of black. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, looks great. We're Now all we need are some villagers. We got to get a zombie. We got to get a zombie next, actually. We better get our zombie in place before we get these villagers. And uh, should be good to go. So let's do that. Now we have our... Uh, zombie chamber in place. He's going to be in a cauldron of water. Um, this should allow him to bob up and down. But I may need to add uh, trap doors. So it, he has a place to pathfind. So I might have to take these glass blocks out. And put some trap doors on the side of the cauldron. So he can bob up and down. Uh, if he doesn't bob up and down... He's going to have a you know, a stationary stair, which uh, doesn't block the line of sight. So we, we want to make sure to block the line of sight every once in a while for, for the villagers so it can know when to spawn a golem. I guess that makes it more efficient. As far as I know, I mean, this isn't. there's no tutorial for this. We're just, you know, coming up with stuff. Seeing if it works. If not, it's a big waste of time. Up here, we have a platform where we want a zombie to spawn. But we're not having much luck with that. Actually, we need rockets. I'm going to fly up and see if we can get a zombie. We can't get one here. Like, not one zombie can spawn. There he is. We got one. Okay, 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 okay. This way, buddy. Did he just fall off? Oh, Come on. Yeah, we got us some zombies. We have to take out the skeleton. No way. Do I have to go clear around the circle? No. Okay. All right, he got a little blood now. Okay. Okay. Come on, zombie. You can do it. Yeah! Come over here. This is where I'm at. You want to get me? There you go. All right. All right. I don't know about this. This could be... Okay. Let's name him. Iron Troll. There you go. Take these down. And I'm waiting on another zombie. I blew it. He escaped and fell to his death. Need another one. All right, here it is. See, if I do this, he should go down there, and then I could plop one more slab under there to where he can't get up on that ledge. Ah, oh, I missed it! I freaking missed... Bam. There. There. 
Ha ha! Now we just need to get the villagers in here. Okay, we're going to give this a shot. We're going to give this a shot. I think where, where the villagers are standing, they should be able to see him. I can't really remove these. I guess I could put string here. Yeah, I could put string here in carpets. Uh, the carpet kind of takes a little bit of the vision away, but we're going to see how that is. If not, we'll put some string here. That shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, now it's time to get the villagers. We have to get everything set up to transport these suckers. Wow, look at all these pillagers down here. That is such a great sign. Um, we're not going to have time to get the villagers. We're going to have to do that in the next episode. And uh, from then till, or from now to then, we're going to run some rails and get everything ready so we don't have to deal with that. And uh, get a hold of Croc, see if we can get some villagers from him, and see if he can give us a hand. I'm sure he will. But uh, it's been a while since I put in, put out an episode, so this is released a little early, if you haven't noticed. And uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content from my channel. Got my netherite gear ready to go up to far, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya. this episode i put a link in the descriptions to a couple channels that i think people will need to see uh it's uh gives you a little bit of faith in humanity through these times and i hope you enjoy that as well so see you on the next one